today we're going to be talking about minimalist life hacks. I have plenty more life hack videos on the horizon, including finance, beauty, and cleaning life hack videos. So definitely subscribe. This one is especially for the minimalists or people that want to simplify their life so that they can become more productive and more relaxed. Before we get into the top tips in this video, I just want to say my favorite tip from the previous video was to use a remote control system for your lights. And that is so minimalist because fairy lights are minimalist. They don't require extra bulbs, lampshades. They're extremely economical. The only problem is they're kind of hard to plug in to turn on every day. You can tie all the lights in your house to a system like this. They're nice and dim. And so you can add as many as you want to get the effect that you're looking for. But dim is really great at night because it helps us segue straight into sleep. The very first tip we have for this video is to try the 10 condiment challenge. And if you have a big family, you might want to go a little bit more than 10 condiments. But the basic idea is that if you get your condiments to as few as possible, it aids to your health because a lot of the things in condiments we don't want to be eating anyway. It helps you save money and each condiment is kept fresher because you rotate through them so quickly because you have so few condiments. So there's huge benefits to downsizing your condiments. If you're a person who recycles, the more condiments you have, the more plastics and glass jars that you're going to have to recycle. If you just keep to the very bare minimal, you're cutting out a lot of recycling altogether. So how you do this is you basically go through your condiments, throw out anything that's expired and anything that you rarely ever touch. And then if you're not sure if you need a condiment, grab that condiment and put it into your meat drawer or some other hidden drawer and see if you can live without it. It encourages ingenuity and encourages you to use substitutes for things. So for instance, I just stuck to honey instead of maple syrup and jam. So I put honey on my bread, I put honey on my waffles. You can use ingenuity when it comes to dish towels. And as I have mentioned in my towel video, the thinner the towel, the better. And so thin towels are great because they absorb the best and they do not shed. And when you're cleaning, the last thing you want is something shedding everywhere. <laughs> it's creating more work for you. So if you have a towel or a paper towel that's creating dust as you're going along, just use a nice humble Target $2 dish towel. And you can use this to wipe down mirrors. So you can use dish towels as rags. You can use them obviously as dish towels. You can use them as hand towels in the bathroom, as a bath mat on the floor. There's endless uses for a dish towel. It is definitely something not to overlook because it may be simple, but it's extremely multi-purpose. The next tip that I have is to use portable scanners and portable shredders. I'm self-employed, so I have lots and lots of receipts. I have to save seven years of receipts and I also love to write things down because that's my personality. And so I say all of that to say that if I can go nearly paper free, then you definitely can too. So don't put yourself in a box. Minimalism is about opening a whole new world that we never even thought possible. So I really like this scanner. It scans color and black and white photos. And so I have basically digitized everything. And if you want a list of all the things that I've digitized, just visit my blog post on that. I've also digitized very rarely used recipe cards. Very few people need a heavy duty scanner and paper shredder. And so that's a relief because these are so easy to store away. My next tip is to clean mainly with water. And that's a very, very minimalist concept. If you keep up with everything day to day, it is very possible to clean nearly everything with just water and I have a whole blog post on that but if you don't keep up with things that regularly then you can put vinegar and water or put a little dish soap inside of water and then use that as an all-purpose spray and if you already have bottles use the bottles that you have there's no need to buy specialty bottles to make your own all-purpose sprays motion actually does the majority of the cleaning for us the motion of dishwashers the motion of the washing machine and the motion of your hand and the brush does a lot of the cleaning. The chemical itself does very little. And the thing that's really great about using just water is it is very healthy for your home 
and it's not something that you have to go out and buy so i try to limit the amount of liquids that i use in my home because the more liquids that you use the more trips to the store you inevitably have to make a lot of things nowadays we can buy online but not when it comes to heavy cans and heavy liquids and so in that vein i also recommend drinking as much water from home as possible because again bottled water and juices are something that is very hard to order online and so the more trips you're going to have to make to the store and drinking just water is really great for your wallet and it's really great for your health maybe it's not working out for you and you're still drinking out of water bottles so my advice to you is to make it as easy as possible do something that's lightweight and easy to fill and in that same vein get an insulated container like this from Target and then you don't even have to lift it. You can keep it on the table and drink from it like that or you can just use the handle and just bring it up to here. It's easy to get the water out and it really encourages you to drink more water. My next tip is to declutter before organizing because if you do this first you will save so many extra products that you're going to be using to organize everything so many trips to the store and beyond that to keep every organizing product as basic as possible so that if you do downsize whatever it's storing one day you can easily transfer that container to storing something else so if you get specialty organizers it will be hard to reuse them so get things that are multi-purpose things like shoe boxes and you might not even have to buy them my next tip is to stay out of stores and to stay away from magazines as much as possible it encourages you to spend money on things that are not going to add that much value to your life it's just like if you were trying to have a healthy lifestyle you're going to stay away from ice cream parlors for instance it's the same thing in this regard it doesn't mean you can't go to the mall or you can't have magazines it just means to limit them as much as possible to do a lot of your shopping online if you can and in this way you'll save a lot of money and a lot of time my next tip is to use the bag method or the hanger method when you're can't decide what to get rid of and a hanger method is basically to hang all of your clothes on hangers even if it doesn't normally hang on hangers so that you can get a visual of how much you own as you use things in a month turn the hanger around every item that you use you throw it into the wash and you turn the hanger around therefore at the end of a month and at the end of 60 days you'll see which items you've used and then you can make your choices easier because then there'll be a big group of items that you haven't touched at all and then the bag method is basically for everything else that are not clothes so if you don't know if you're going to need it grab a bag fill it up with stuff as you're wondering i really don't want to let it go and if you're having Having trouble letting things go because of the money you spent definitely see the video that I linked below but you basically put it in a box or a bag by the door and at the end of 30 to 60 days if it hasn't been touched you throw it out my second to the last tip is to use one size of socks if at all possible for me it is really easy just to use ankle socks you're never losing socks because they're all the same. Also, I use nippy paste, which I've talked about in another video, a lot of times instead of bras, especially when you wear summer dresses, you, you just want something that covers you up so that it looks appropriate. I've been able to downsize my bras to only three other ones outside of this. And this segues perfectly into my last point. A lot of things come in a set or a lot of things are gifted to us and we just keep it because we don't wanna waste or we don't know what else to do with it. Socks is a great example, underwear, or kitchenware. Donate the things that aren't gonna work for you. There's no sense keeping two mesh colanders if you only use one size. I try to buy basically everything not in a set because then I can get exactly what I want and then I'll keep it for decades to come. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe. I have a second part to this video, which I am so excited about. I've been working on it for so long and it has really innovative tips on minimalism. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next Sunday.